Hey, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. And in this video, I want to show you that you can use promises for a happy server.register method. Okay, so in the previous video, you have seen that you can use promises on happy server.start method. It returns uh, or resolves a promise if the server start is successful. I don't use it because I don't want to see anything or not lock anything for a successful server start. And what I'm interested in is the error. So if anything goes wrong, I will catch the error and throw it again so that the server won't actually start. And you can do the same when using server.register. You can see that we are registering a list of plugins. And here, the second argument in this function call is uh, error callback that you will use to check if an error occurred while registering the plugins. So we don't want to use that anymore. We want to register it and use a promise afterwards. So let's refactor it like this. Okay, that's gone. Let's keep it outside. We want to proceed with the server views configuration. And ultimately we want to put, let me put it here so that both errors will be catched in a single catch block. So if anything goes wrong with the server start, it will be catched here and the same applies to the server register method, which returns a promise. And from here we will catch every error that appears during the plugin registration. Okay, so in the Refactoring for new Node.js features like async await, you will want to use the promises for your application and you can catch them or you can handle your application start with promises and await or just keep it the simple promises in your application start. So we hope you learned something new. If you like this video and this little trick on how to use promises with Happy's server register method, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and if you want more videos, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Okay, so enjoy your day, enjoy coding, and make it rock.